Hey guys, it's May May, and welcome to the very first in a series of 26 guy card themed tutorials. Myself and 25 other YouTubers are going to take some time to make some guy themed, some manly or masculine cards for you guys. So let me tell you the details. Starting with my video today, and this is my inspiration, that's why I'm holding it here. We're gonna make a card similar to this. Starting with my video today, you will watch after mine like in a hop style with links in the description below everyone else's videos and be totally inspired to make your Father's Day cards. Now there's a couple things you gotta know. Number one, there's a giveaway, naturally. There are three prizes that can be won, so three winners. And the way you win is you follow along in every video and we're gonna play a game using the alphabet because there's 26 of us, right? So you will collect a tool from Daddy's Toolbox starting with every letter of the alphabet. So here's what that means. Today's video is my video and in my Daddy's Toolbox there was an axe. So that's today's word you need to collect. So does that make sense? You'll collect my word and then every video after everyone will have their tool word in their video. Now you just make yourself a list on a piece of paper A through Z and every time you collect a word write it down. At the end of the videos, actually Garrett's video will be last, he will have the information for what you need to do to use those tool words to enter to win the giveaway. So a lot of fun. Go collect some sticks, go collect some words and collect some fun knowledge on how to make guy cards. Everyone's links and all the descriptions will be, I mean all the explanations will be in the description below. Let's work on this guy. So I found this at the Dollar Tree and I wanted to do something different and I thought, you know, I have the tools to make a card shape like this and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of paper that is the normal size of our cards. This is four and a quarter by 11 and yep, we're going to score it in half. So let's do that first. So I'll grab my scoreboard and my scoring tool and I'm going to score it at five and a half. So this is going to fit in a standard envelope, nothing fancy. The other thing that's really cool is if you like what I'm doing today and you happen to have a Cricut Explore where you can use the Cricut design space program I have made a file for you so if you don't have the fancy tools which there are not fancy tools if you don't have the tools to do what we're doing today you can get that file now here's what you're gonna need two punches I'm gonna use the word window punch from Stampin Up I just grabbed this guy and I love it and I'm also gonna use the envelope punch board yep you know one of my favorites so I'm gonna take this card, the open side up, and put it into the punch of the envelope punch board. I'm gonna line it up right over here to the side of that caption bubble. So right to the side, we're gonna line that up and punch. Now we're gonna flip this guy over and do it on the other side just the same. Line it up to the edge and punch. Now, we don't need these guys, so we can get rid of those. I'm through with the envelope punch board. That's all we have to do. Now, we're just gonna do some slicing and dicing. So I'm gonna take my perfect ruler. This is the one that has that metal edge and that little push down grippy. If you're interested, this is in um, my store, which is linked below, so you can grab it there. But I'm gonna line this little tool up where those punches go in, and I'm gonna slice that away. Now, you can do this with your paper trimmer. It's a little harder with a rotary trimmer. That's why I do it this way, because it's a little easier just to do it this way than trying to line your rotary blade up. So that's why I do it. Now look, can you see what the bottom is looking like already? Look, uh-huh. Okay, now <laughs> let's take our envelope. I mean, our window punch. This is the word window punch from Stampin' Up. And I'm gonna eyeball center it sort of at the top. You don't really have to have this part. It just was on my inspiration piece, so I thought I would do it here as well. So now you can see our card shape versus our card shape, right? Now, I think this is kind of cool. I went to my Cricut and I made these print then cut pieces, okay? So these are free things on Cricut. I used all free images so you guys could get them too. And actually, if you use that Cricut file, I made you the base so you can just cut the base out and I also made you these guys so they'll just cut. But here's the thing. If you don't have a Cricut, don't stress. Here's what you do. Go to your regular computer, okay? Make yourself some cute little words, whatever you want it to say. I'll read this one to you in just a second. And you just print it on some four by four inch paper. You can do it a little bigger than that actually if you want it a little larger, but four by four is certainly a safe number. So you could print any sentiment you want on your card. Mine says, 
caution, being a great dad is hard work, and the inside is gonna say, but you make it look easy. Happy Father's Day. So like I said, you can get that on that, cre that free Cricut file, or you can just do this on your printer so super easy. And even better, if you have some super cool Father's Day stamps you've been wanting to use, oh my goodness, the possibilities are endless. You guys are gonna make a million different cards and they will be adorable. If you do make these cards, we want to see what you're doing. So be sure to share them in all of our Facebook groups. All of the members of this hop have social medias where you can get involved with us and follow us on Twitter and on our Facebooks and everywhere. And we wanna see what you're doing. So share it with us. Look how stinking cute this is gonna be. Look at that. Let's open it up. I'm gonna glue the inside down as well. So I just added some wet glue to the back of my card or to the little inside insert. And I'm gonna tell you, I bet you guys are gonna make some of the cutest cards after you see what everybody in this hop is making. And even cooler, we have tried very hard not to duplicate. So we have worked real hard to make sure everybody's making a different card. Look how cute that is. Now the question is, will it fit in an envelope? So this is an A2 size envelope. And let's see if this works. Sure enough, there's your little card ready for dad. I love it. I think it's super cute. So find your inspiration from anywhere. I was totally inspired by this guy. And I wanna say, I'm sorry to those of you who don't have the Cricut and I don't have another way for you to get this, but you really can just print this out on a four by four piece of paper. Just go to your printer and go crazy or use all those cool stamps you probably already have. I think I need to crease this a little bit. It's not laying super flat. There we go. All right, so don't forget my tool is an ax that starts with an a by the way spelling doesn't count so if somebody gives you a tool that you're not sure about just write it the best you can and we'll know if you got it right be sure to hop around get some inspiration for your guy cards everyone's link is below and also subscribe and follow us and like our videos so that these kinds of videos will get more and more popular and we'll know you guys want them more every time there's a like on a video we're like you know what they like it they want more thanks so much for watching guys have fun on the hop and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.